Governor Walker is a proud pro-business Republican. He's supported by many of Wisconsin's top executives, and he's only too happy to tell you about the state's improved rankings in CEO magazine. So it's been fascinating to see the governor's re-election campaign employ a strategy that resembles the one Barack Obama used to defeat Mitt Romney two years ago. In recent months, the Walker campaign has tried to define Democratic opponent and former Trek bicycle executive Mary Burke as an out-of-touch millionaire. And last week, Walker doubled down on that theme. His campaign started running an ad that said Burke financially benefited from Trek's decision to outsource jobs to China. That drew a sharp response from Burke's brother, John, Trek CEO. He blasted the Walker ad, saying it contained false claims made for political gain that could harm his company. He said he was the one who made the decision to make bikes overseas, as well as in Wisconsin, and claimed if he hadn't done that, there would be no Trek and no 1,000 jobs in Wisconsin. What's particularly disappointing, Burke concluded, is that Governor Walker understands this. But it's likely the Walker campaign also understands there's a simmering public resentment toward the wealthy, the one percenters, and toward companies that outsource jobs. Again, look what happened to Mitt Romney in Wisconsin. It wasn't pretty. To some, the Walker campaign's populist play may be ironic, given the governor's backing by pro-business groups. And under normal circumstances, Walker might be one of Trek's biggest boosters. But election years aren't normal. And as Trek is quickly discovering, politics ain't beanbag. Thanks for being with us today. I'm Mike Goucher, and I'll see you again next week on Upfront. You can see today's program on our website. Just click on the Upfront section of WISN.com.